Hello. In science, we use terminology. Terminology, words or expressions that mean certain things. Right? Before we can use it, we must say exactly what it is. We must define it so that people know what you're talking about, so there can be no confusion. In the Wetenschap, we can say terminology, but we must have a way to define here or explain what it is, so that there is no confusion when the people are talking about it. For example, mechanics. Is for example scalars versus vectors. In mechanica is dat scalaren tegen de vectoren. As you can see here, a scalar quantity versus a vector quantity. A scalar quantity has only magnitude. Scalar het net grootheid. Terwijl een vector hoeveelheid, it has a magnitude and a direction. A vector has a magnitude but also a direction. An example, a voorbeeld. Distance versus displacement. Afstand tegen verplaatsen. Distance is a scalar quantity. Verplaatsen is a vector. Displacement is a vector. So, what's the difference now between distance and displacement? Quick explanation of that. This is point A. That is point B. And you walk from A to B. Sê van punt A na punt B so loop. Maybe there are buildings and other objects in your way. So you have to walk, for example, this way, that way, that way, that way, then you get to B. You have to also begin your own path step from A to B, when there is a building good in the path. Let us say this was 500 meters. So it's 500 meter gestap. So physically, you actually walked 500 meters. But what did you achieve? What did you bereik? You actually achieved the following. You started at A, and you ended at B. And that might just be 100 meters. You had effectief van A na B beweeg, je positie het verander, met net 100 meter. Je position changed by only 100 meters. But also important, this is not east of where you started. This is not oost from where you begin it. So here's the difference. Although you actually walked 500 meters, you actually achieved 100 meters to the east of your starting position. Alhoewel you 500 meters geloop het, het jy effectief jou positie met 100 meter oost verander. Let op dus. Hier is a grote in de richting. You change your position, has got a magnitude and a direction. That is displacement. That is this verplaatsen. This you actually physically did. That is now your distance. This is afstand afgele. Question: Is it possible for your distance and displacement to be the same thing? Is it moeilijk for Afstand en verplaatsen om diezelfde ding te wees? No, it's not possible. Because this one is a scalar quantity. It has not got direction. Die ding het moest nie richting by nie. Then magnitudes can be the same. Hulle grootes kan diezelfde wees. So other words, is if for some reason you did walk this, or if you did not walk a detour, as jy wel hier kon gestap het, in nie om pad gestap nie, then the magnitude of both would be 100 meters. Okay, that's the grootte van beide 100 meter wees. But the vector still has got direction. The vector is steeds nog richting by. Another example of a scalar quantity is your mass. Nog voort van scalar grootte is jou massa. Your mass is 50 kilograms. But north, south, east, west, not relevant. Your mass is 50 kg, but for north, south, east, or west, is not of importance. Okay? But if I press against this board with my pen, I not I press against the board. So I am applying a force against the board. I'm applying a force against the board. 
Tier nie brood, is tier nie brood druk. There are two things involved now. I'm pressing, pressing, so I'm applying a force against, so this direction. Okay, two things. How much power is on the board? Power and it's on the board. So that's also the direction. So the power, how strong the power is, is there in the direction. So the size of the force, the magnitude of the force, and the direction is definitely relevant. So if I were to push this board over, I mean, then I must push that way. Pushing down is not going to push the board over. As the board is pushed to it, then it's going to Kijk zo, gaan die boot moet je omvallen. Maar als ik zo ga druk, gaan die boot omvallen. Zo de direction is important. So you see, you summarize quickly: a scalar quantity has only magnitude. A vector quantity has magnitude and direction. Thank you for watching.